Hey guys, today we are going to celebrate and struggle with this awesome mould. Hey everyone, it's Audrey here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's a new year, it's a new you, it's a new stuffs. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So, um, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do a resin project today because it is a Friday. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and consider subscribing. I do paper craft, I do mixed media, I do resin, I do all sorts of bits and pieces. But today I have this beautiful bust mould. Is it a bust if it's the full body? I don't actually know. I will have to check that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some beautifully dried flowers and petals that I have dried myself inside it and make like a little garden goddess ready for the start of the new year. And yeah, I'm going to be doing this in layers because it is a very deep mould. And we'll see how we get on. I hope you enjoy. So I decided not to use flowers that I dried because I'd forgotten that I'd said that when I started making this. So we're going to use dried flowers. Uh, so I've done the first layer. I did put ever so slightly too much in, so I just dropped a little bit out. I knew where I wanted the flowers in this first layer to be. And flowers float in resin so with things like this working in layers is really important so you get things where you want them so i apologize for my head getting in the way um, i'm just putting some little forget-me-nots down at the bottom which will be the top so this will be the shoulder sort of area a couple of those in there which was i just dipped my little stick in some resin to help pick them up next layer we used these circular almost daisies that have been dyed to different colors um, and these were really good actually. I really enjoyed working with these, though this red one... Uh, you'll understand why I make that noise at the end. It was um, a pain, shall we say. So next layer I'm going to put these star flowers in. I absolutely adore these flowers. I think they're so cute. But they are so fragile. So fragile. So I again got my tweezers out. And... I was going to do the hydrangea in this one, but I changed my mind and did the star flowers first. Trying to open these pots was a blooming nightmare with my hands, I tell you. Um, and so again, I'm just popping them in. I'm pushing them up against the sides because I don't really want all the flowers sitting in the middle. I kind of wanted them near the surface of the resin. So I'm just pushing them up against the sides, the front, the back, wherever they sit nicely. Again, I apologise for my head. Clean everything off and try and open another pot and uh, some of them opened really easily some of them pff, i had to use the tweezers i adore this blue this is such a gorgeous dark blue it is lovely and then last one i think we're going to do this pink and i wanted to do it on the opposite side to the red and i ended up putting it the same side didn't plan that out very well but it's fine um so our next layer up at the top we're going to fill it up and then we're going to pop in some hydrangea i do have dried hydrangea um, but I don't have any coloured ones, I only have one colour, so I wanted to use multicoloured in this. So we've done a yellow, a pink and a peach I think at the bottom. So we started off blue, went really multicoloured and then sort of muted near down the bottom and I think that worked really, really well. Uh, I'm going to fiddle those in and then I'm just going to do a tiny layer on top just to make sure they're sealed. So this doesn't go right to the top, but you don't need to watch that. Okay, we are back to demol our body. I am so excited by this floral body. I'm just hoping that I can get it out of the mould myself. So let's have Oh yeah. That's a very easy release mould. Oh, it's looking so pretty. She says that she loses it. Okay. Mm, the first bit was easy release. I spoke too soon. So here is our beautiful body. Oh, I love her. So we've got some star flowers, we've got some little 
daisy style flowers. We've got some hydrangea down at the bottom. Some forget me nots up at the top. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. See, there is a slight where her back curves. This red flower gave me attitude. <laughs> so, unfortunately, this little area is slightly bubbly, but everywhere else. This is going to sound really odd, but look at how <laughs> it's crystal clear her bum is. Uh, this is going to sound like the most bizarre sentence, but look at how crystal clear her bum is. There's no bubbles <laughs> at all. It's just this dripped area. Um, like the neck and shoulders are beautifully clear as well. Oh, I can't wait to make more of these. Mmm. These are gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what flowers you think I should put in. And, um, oh, I love it. She is, she's about as tall as my, my palm. Very, very arched forward. That, that bit was difficult to get off the mould. But I love it. Oh, I kind of want to buy some different shaped ones now. <laughs> love it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Keep crafting guys, bye!